Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing and smelling Secret Obsession by Calvin Klein. I don't really remember smelling this one before, but I do remember holding the bottle in my hands. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little weird, but yeah, I found it at TK Maxx for 20 euros, I believe. Yeah, 20 euros. And I'm gonna unbox it now and tell you what, what it smells like. And I also love the original Obsession, so I do have high hopes for this one. And before I go ahead and take it out of the box, I'm gonna show you two other things I found in TK Maxx. Really good things. So as usual, you guys, I only go to TK Maxx to find uh, perfumes on sale. That's the only thing I go for there, to be honest with you. They have everything from olive oil to snacks to... <laughs> clothes to perfumes everything so i accidentally found this linen spray by zara ohm i mean not zara ohm by zara home <laughs> they have this uh separate store this they sell all types of things for the home i don't know and i found this linen spray on sale for like three euros i believe i was like let me smell it because it's a gardenia Gardenia scented and guys, it's beautiful. It's a very creamy and green Dewy gardenia. I think it's stunning. I'm definitely going to spray my room with it the bathroom everything So if you do find this one Give it a smell Do give it a smell. It's a really good one and the other perfume related smelly thing I got was this Mimosa and TR uh, Candle it's by Villa Hermanos Oh my god, you guys, it's so good. They usually have all this bullshit uh, vanilla, pumpkin spice, patchouli type of... I don't know, I, I do not want to smell those. Uh, but this is so good, you guys. Let me smell it. Mm, it's it's very similar to Une Fleur de Cassis by Frederic Mal, if you know th that one. But this is a, a cleaner take on that. Oh, it's so good, you guys. It's really good. It was the only one with this scent. <laughs> and it was on sale too, so I grabbed it immediately. It's so good, you guys. It's a really, really good one. If you like that perfume by Frederic Mal, but you don't want it to be as dry and almost animalic, this is a more, I don't know, a cleaner take on that perfume, I would say. So I went ahead and took it out of the box, and this is what it looks like. It has this plastic holder. This is the inside of the box, the box, and this is the bottle, you guys, it's really beautiful. It kind of reminds me of the dabbing bottle of Lulu. It's really beautiful, you guys. So, you guys, I just sprayed it on, and I wasn't really expecting that opening, to be honest with you. It's very alcoholic. Uh, you almost don't smell any of the notes when you first spray it on. It's just alcohol. And then this plum starts to kick in all of a sudden. And it's very... It's a very uh, jammy plum. It's also sour at the same time. There is also this boozy quality to it when you first spray it on. Almost like rum. And also there is this bakery type of gourmand note in there uh, like a baked good it kind of reminds me of a Serge Luton's perfume he has a couple of perfumes that have that type of note in them and I don't really like that about them one of them is 5 o'clock or gingembre I don't know how to pronounce it it has that type of wheat uh, note in it and I really don't like that about it. And also Cedre by Serge also has the type of nutty, bake, baked good type of note. I don't know what it is. It's also in here, you guys. So that is the opening, pretty much. Plum, booze, and a little bit of a gourmand baked good type of. Thing going on so I gave it some time to develop on my skin and now this very narcotic tuberose is kicking in it's starting to mix in with the plum and everything 
it's a very delicate tuber rose, but it's very narcotic, you guys. It's a really, really good tuber rose. And there is also this very creamy ilang ilang in the background. Together with the tuberose and the plum. Oh, this is a really good fragrance, you guys. I mean, it has nothing to do with the original Obsession, but it's a really, really great fragrance. I, I think they should have released it as a new fragrance, not just a, a Obsession flanker. I think it has nothing to do with Obsession. Oh, it's really good, you guys. So I checked the notes on Fragrantica and there is plum in the opening and there is also tuberose uh, in the heart notes. There's a couple of flowers actually in the uh, mid notes. There is jasmine also, ylang ylang, but I don't really smell any jasmine in here. It's a very uh, narcotic but a discreet tuberose. It's not a strong perfume, you guys. It's it's very soft and it sets close to the skin. And people actually compare it to a Feminité du Bois by Serge de Tons. I'm not really familiar familiar with that one, but yeah, it does really smell like a Serge de Tons perfume, you guys. It does. It really does. I also forgot to mention that there is this almost lactonic woodsy quality to it. It's almost like a cedar wood. It's a really interesting combination of notes you guys it's a really great fragrance and this is what the bottle looks like again it's a really really beautiful bottle you guys so those are my first impressions you guys it's a very intriguing interesting fragrance i think it's gonna take me a while to understand it i need to give it a full proper wear and then maybe i'm going to make a review on it a full review it's a really beautiful fragrance you guys you don't really get to smell perfumes like this anymore. Really, really great fragrance. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also find me on Instagram. It's the same username as here. Amelia, go follow me there if you want to. And let me know in the comments down below. Are you familiar with Secret Obsession? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know. Thank you again so much for watching and bye.